All right, you guys. So for reading today, we are going to be working on summarizing. Okay. Now we've talked about summaries a little bit before. All right. Good summaries have a beginning, middle, and end. But we are going to be talking about summarizing when you give a summary for nonfiction. Okay. So summarizing for nonfiction. Let me add that to my title here. So again, I'm writing in my journal. I'm writing down these notes. You should be writing down these notes as well. Okay, so just pay attention here to my um, circle. All right, I'm making it big here so we can focus on it. All right, these are the notes that we are going to take. All right, so let me add that there. Summarizing for nonfiction. Okay, summarizing for nonfiction. Now, the important thing to remember about summarizing is that summarizing is short, right? You keep it short and, and it talks about the main ideas or the, yes, the main ideas and important ideas of the paragraph. Okay, so let's see here. First, to, in order to summarize, this in orange, to summarize, to summarize a text, you describe the most important ideas. You describe the most important ideas in your own. That's another key thing. In your own, your own words, okay, your own words, that's important. You are not just repeating every single thing that you read, okay, that's not, you can do that, not for summarizing. You're describing the most important ideas in your own words, okay, so to do that, you need to first just keep it short, all right? Keep it short and simple, all right? Anytime you need to pause my video here to write down what I'm writing, all right, go for it, okay? You have the power to pause it. Now, so keep it short and simple. You write about... Write about main ideas, okay? Write about main ideas use your words use your words You use your words and you do not include your opinion. Okay? You do not include your opinion, right? Or how you feel about it. Okay? So, for summarizing for nonfiction, that's pretty much it. All right. When you summarize, you're describing the most important ideas in your own words. Okay. So think back to Monday when we read the story or that book on Epic about the alligators and the crocodiles. You're going to be using that book again today. And if I were to summarize that book in my own words, I would say, well, it was a book about alligators and crocodiles. And it told me the difference between those two reptiles. Okay, so it was very short. That's my summary, right? It told, uh, I gave you a short summary. I told you what the book was about. It was about alligators and crocodiles and about how it told me the difference between those two reptiles, right? So that's pretty much what we read from that book. That's what it was, right? Um, I could maybe add a little bit 
something else, but that's for now, as an example, that's a good summary, okay, or summarize, summarization, okay? So, again, for summarizing, for nonfiction, all right, you keep it short and simple, write about the main ideas that were in what you read, use your own words, and do not include your opinion or how you feel about it, okay? You're not sharing that, you're just giving a summary, a short summary. Okay, watch the next video to learn a little bit more about what is a summary, okay? Or actually, no, I can do this on the same video. So let's continue here. Let's see if I can fix it. All right, there we go. That works. Okay, good, so just one video. So <clears throat> let me put my notes off to the side or I'll just keep it right there for now. All right, so let's see here. For summarizing, let's go to slide two. All right, let's take a look here at slide two. So what is a summary? So like we said in our notes, summaries are short recaps of the main ideas in a text. Okay, they are written in your own words. When summarizing, ask yourself, what is the most important information and what can be left out? All right, we don't want to sit here for two hours listening to every single detail. Okay, that is not a summary. That's not what a summary is for, right? A summary is about central and main ideas. It is about the most important supporting details. It is about some of the key, same keywords as the text, and it is shorter than the original text, okay? Remember, that's the first one here in my notes. Keep it short and simple. And then they give us a helpful tip here. It says, as you read, underline important sentences and key words. Pay special attention to the first, they made a typo here, Pay special attention, there should be two, the first and last sentences of the passage and words that are repeated, okay? These are notes that we wrote down for main idea about how to find the main idea, okay? So when we do summarizing or we are giving a summary of something, it is important to include the main idea, all right? Let's see what they say about what a summary is not. A summary is not your own opinion. It is not information that isn't in the text. So if our book was about alligators and crocodiles and you tell me a summary and it includes flamingos, that is not what a good summary has, okay? A summary is not a copy of exactly what the author says. Nope, that is not what it is, all right? And then a summary is not small details or specific examples, okay? We don't wanna sit here for two hours listening to every single little detail, okay? We don't have time for that. You just gotta give me the meat and potatoes, the good stuff, okay? The most important things from the book. All right, so let's look at this here. We're gonna practice. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Nope. Oh, a little too much. Let me move my circle over, or let me make my circle a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so you've probably heard of Walt Disney but how much do you really know about him? Walt Disney was born on December 5th, 1901 in Chicago, Illinois. Walt Disney always enjoyed art and began drawing pictures for his family as a child. In 1923, he moved with his brother Roy to Hollywood and began the Disney Brothers cartoon studio. They eventually changed the name to Walt Disney Studios. Do y'all remember? about this a little bit when we read that biography about Walt Disney. I do remember his brother, Roy. A few years later, they created some short cartoons which introduced a character who would change the world. His name was Mickey Mouse. People loved Mickey Mouse so much that eventually, Walt Disney Studios was able to make their first full-length film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Since then, they have made 57 movies. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so they gave us this information about Walt Disney. Now, they're going to show us a summary example and then a non-example of a summary. All right, so let's look at their example here. Walt Disney was very influential. 
He was interested in art and drawing from a young age. He and his brother founded Walt Disney Studios in 1923. He went on to develop the character Mickey Mouse and later many other famous movies. Okay, so that's their example. If I was going to give an example of my own that I would write or I would say as a summary for this, I would say that Walt Disney was born in Chicago, Illinois. Um, he loved to draw pictures. He was always drawing pictures. Um, he moved to Hollywood with his brother and started a cartoon studio. All right. He ended up creating the character Mickey Mouse and Disney Studios became one of the most popular studios in the world. All right. So that's kind of a summary that I would give, but they gave a good summary example. My summary was a little bit longer, which maybe I need to shorten it a bit, but their example is good. So let's look at their non-example. Okay. Something that is not a good summary. So Walt Disney was born on December 5th, 1901 in Chicago, Illinois. Walt Disney always enjoyed art and began drawing pictures for his family as a child. He and his brother must have a good relationship because they started a cartoon studio together. They created a character who changed the world, Mickey Mouse. Everyone loved Mickey Mouse. Nowadays, there are a lot of Disney movies and even parks. The best Disney movie is Frozen. Okay, so in this non-example, all right, first of all, it's a little long, okay? It's a little long, and they also have some information in there that wasn't in the information up here, okay? Um, the part about the parks, where it said there's Disney parks, that wasn't up here in this information. So we don't need that, all right? Remember on this slide, it said a summary does not include information that is not in the text, okay? So... They, in this non-example, they have some information that wasn't in the text. And, and they're also including their, their opinion. The best Disney movie is Frozen. Okay? Over here, they said you do not put your own opinion in a summary. All right? So, I think they're giving us a good example of a summary and a good non-example. Okay? What not to do. All right? This one's a little bit too long. Okay. Good. So there is our lesson on 